Hi friends, welcome to Art Tutorials. Today is a very special tutorial. Today we are going to build our first Angular application and project in around 15 minutes. That's right, 15 minutes is all you need to build your first Angular 8 application. This course is for absolute beginners, so stay with me. Some of them can be new concepts, but we'll keep building and that's the only way to learn it. Before we proceed friends, if you can subscribe to the channel to keep encouraging and supporting me, that would be much appreciated. Thank you so much. Let's get started. All right. So I have already created the ng new application, but I'll just walk you through with the commands. So first thing you do is install Angular CLI using npm install at the rate angular slash CLI. This would initiate an Angular CLI project. And then to create, we'll use ng new first app which means i'm create i'm naming it as first app you can name it anything you want you can call it tasks you can call it any name that you want to give i have given it first app that's what you see here on your editor left sidebar all right so let's quickly take a look at what we are trying to build so we are going to build an application framework site framework which would have a module which would have multiple components. And this is the kind of a site framework that would, we would come up with. So it's more about layout building and site framework, but this will definitely give you an idea about what we are trying to build and will give you enough confidence to keep building on top of it. Let's get started with coding. All right, so I have, now that I have my project, the first thing I will do is ng generate module. And I'll give the name as FW framework, right? So you can give any name again, but I'm just calling it FW. Let's generate this. Okay, we need to be inside the Angular project. So I need to navigate inside and then I'll say ng generate FW. Once it is done, now it's time to first make sure that we have inc include this particular module in our app module. So you go to source and you can see that under app it has created. So we want it outside. So we can just drag it outside to source. It would ask us and confirm that do we want to move it? So we'll say yes, move it. Now let's go to app module. And you can see that there is absolutely no mention of it. So we have now our framework, which is a module. So, and the name of the, that we gave was FW. So it's FW module, copy this, go to app module and include it here. First thing you do is always include the module. And <clears throat> choose the path and the module name. Once you have imported the module, then what we need to do is add it under the list of imports. All the modules will go under imports. So we have included our newly created module. A quick revision, I just generated a module named FW and then it's in the same level as app. So it's an independent module and I've included that in app module using import statement. All good, so far so good. So let's go to our app framework and now I'm going to generate few commands. So few components, we need few components. So I'm going to navigate into source FW. And then we are going to generate few components. NG generate, you can write N generate or NGG, which is shortcut for generate. Similarly, you can say NG generate component. And then I'm going to create few components here. NG generate component header ng generate component footer ng generate content and then ng generate sidebar And finally, so you see we have generated four components, content, footer, header, sidebar. I'm going to create one component which I'll use as a wrapper, which so I'll create ng generate. I'll call it framework content. 
So great. So we have generated our five components content footer content framework content header and sidebar. I'm going to go to the TypeScript file of FW component. Copy this selector, which is our tag. Go to app component dot HTML. I'm going to delete everything except for router outlet. Delete everything else. So select everything. And delete so we just have our router outlet and here I'm going to mention our tag which is our framework app content we all we need to do is just have it this one tag included in our app component because we have already included the FW module so we don't need any more so that being said now let's go to our framework and now in this template I'm going to delete this all of it and I will start including our own content our own components that we just generated first go to header grab the selector I know the selector name so I can do it but it would usually be the name starting with prefix with app so you can go to template that is our HTML file include it here and then close the tag similarly include app sidebar and then <clears throat> include app content these are all the selectors for the components that we just generated and finally app footer so there you are so now we have our all the four components generated inside and we have included them in the HTML so you're wondering how are these referencing I want you to quickly take a look at FW module.ts file this is the main module and it has all the components listed inside it automatically angular CLI does it for us otherwise we will have to include it every time we do just remember that all right so now it's time to run the application and see the output what we have so far so for that we'll do ng serve <coughs> so while this is building I will go to the browser and make sure I have localhost 4200 42, All right, so application is built. Now we don't see any output. Let's see the reason why. So we have included our component, which is FW content, which means we need to make sure that that component is exported. So what we will do here is, okay, I don't see the FW component. We see it here. Just take it, put it under exports. It's an array. Just place the so there we are so now we see all our component HTML data coming up in app.html app component.html we just included one component which we exported from our framework and now we see content header let's go quickly and put some styling so we know we'll use colon host to decorate the component I'm going to so you see okay let's go here okay so we have background color because that's the tag that we are using and it says header work let's check it again refresh okay so we are going to throw in a class here and say and throw in the same class name here so we see that the background color has come now for the header similarly we'll copy the same and we'll do it for all other area and we'll call it content 
light say yellow and give it dot content so this is all boiling down to now css how you want to style your framework this is yellow color now we want the sidebar to be blue so this will call it sidebar and similarly you see now blue and then finally footer we'll call it background hyphen color light say some green you, you can you can choose better colors for sure so go to your HTML class so now we'll, we are seeing all the colors separately for each of the components that we just created. Now I'm going to throw in some more CSS so that way we know that how we are going to arrange them. So the sidebar and so I'm throwing in style here in the interest of time, but you should be putting this in the CSS. So that way I have now I'm using flex so that I get both sidebar and content in the in the same row and then I'm going to throw in some more styles uh, let's just call this class equal to framework main content and put it here and then put the display as flex and then we are going to use some more styling you can put that styling in anywhere but it's it's much appreciated if you put it in something where you know that you are going to easily able to maintain it so I'm going to call it with say 85% and sidebar I'm going to call it 15% alright so this comes it's not as good as we want uh, let's maybe style it better so you get the idea that width let's just say 600 pixel for now but again you feel free to use your creativity and styling it up so we can see uh, this is coming up the way we want so this is how you go around creating module and components so this is just to give you a starter guide and this is how you build any app angular application so how easy it is to create a module include it in app create components and then have the data now if you want to have some dynamic data I'll quickly show you that I don't want content here we'll use data binding and I'm going to put it here and say main content and then throw it in the component we'll initialize it to this and on ng in it I'll say main content is equal to this is main content area so this is how you will bind the data and this will start appearing this is main content area you can see it in the content area similarly in the sidebar you don't want this we want to throw in few links so I'm going to use directive ng for is equal to links of menu and then here I'm going to display link in menu so now we need to just quickly add the menu array <coughs> so I have added an array and ng on it I'm saying menu is equal to let's just say Google say Yahoo Bing Duck Duck so this always you should use this dot to refer to the same 
now let's build it okay there is an error let's see what the error is that's not showing up all right uh, we have our menu this dot menu equal to this and then in the sidebar we are saying link of menu this dot menu is correct and then we have our HTML all right so there you go so we see our links that we have just put in and then we want to style our list quickly maybe so this is all about styling your uh, content and data how you want it to be again there is no restriction to your creativity you can use any way the way you want it we don't want it we want some spacing so you can always add that so there you go so you can you start building your content accordingly and your first application is ready with just few links you can throw in anything that you want here in the li you can say href now we can also put router instead of href we are going to use router link equal to and then we are going to bind this data inside right so for now uh, if you have an object that you can bind the data with for now i don't have one so i'm just putting it quickly so you know that this is how links would be displayed so this is how you generate your first application so this is your first single angular application you have done in less than 15 minutes this is to give you three important things one how do you generate new modules how do you generate components inside the module how do you link the components into the parent app module i hope this was useful to you let me know if this really works for you if not i will try and get you more tutorials but if you like it if you learn from it please do give a like subscribe to my channel and i'll bring you more such cool hacks and videos thank you so much for joining